Here are some basic ideas to keep in mind about plot structure. Uh, these ideas apply if you are studying works of literature or if you are writing your own short story or a narrative essay. So the things that you'll want to make sure you do to organize your narrative essay, if that's what you are writing, is listed in this graphic that is known as Freitag's Pyramid. And he's the guy who came up with all the different elements of plot that are common to most stories. Uh, you start with the exposition, then you have an inciting incident is part of that exposition that leads into the rising action that leads to the climax, which is really the moment of the biggest change in the story, and then the falling action with the resolution and denouement, which are really the same thing. So let's look at some of these terms. Here's a video on plot structure that is part of this PowerPoint. I will link to that in this video as well. Uh, so you have the exposition. Um, as you see here, uh, this website, literarydevices.net, is a great resource for looking at any kind of um, type of literary element that, that may be confusing to you. They will have a good definition for you and also some examples. So it's super helpful to use those kinds of resources when you are stuck. But like we talked about with Freitag's Pyramid, you start a story with the exposition. So that includes things like, uh, what is the setting? What are the characters? What are the things your reader needs to know to be familiar with the story uh, that you are writing about or the story that you are writing yourself if you are writing a, a narrative essay? The exposition in Jack and the Beanstalk tells who the characters are, tells us about the setting, uh, what's going on with Jack and his mother, what is the situation, where are we starting the story. Next we have an inciting incident. That is the, the part of the story uh, that puts the events of the rest of the story into motion. So the inciting incident for Jack and the Beanstalk is when Jack goes to sell the cow and he, he is given magic beans instead of money for the only uh, thing of value that the family had. And so his mother is angry that he comes home with beans instead of cash and throws the beans into the yard. Then we have rising action. So the rising action creates suspense and leads us to the climax. Might have some foreshadowing in there, uh, but it can include things like uh, some character flaws, like maybe with Jack, a character flaw is not making good choices about uh, what kind of trade is worthwhile when you are selling the one thing that you have to sustain your family. Um, so let's look at Jack and the Beanstalk. Um, we know that in the story, one element of rising action happens after Jack has discovered that when his mother threw the beans in the yard, suddenly a big vine grew there and he decides to climb that vine. And another element of rising action, this can be a long part of your story that leads to the climax. Remember, the climax will be the turning point. Uh, so another element of the rising action is when uh, Jack discovers there's a giant on the other side of that vine, way up in the air, and he makes the choice to, to take some of the giant's treasures back home with him. 
All right. Um, the point of conflict or highest tension is the climax. It's also referred to as the crisis, uh, the, the pinnacle of the crisis of the story. So in Jack and the Beanstalk, the climax happens when the giant realizes that Jack is taking his treasures away from him. He's stealing his stuff. And then we have the falling action. It occurs after the climax. So um, that moment of crisis starts to resolve. And let's see what happens in Jack and the Beanstalk. The falling action occurs when Jack decides to cut down the beanstalk he's gotten home almost safely, uh, the giant's still chasing him, and to save himself and get rid of that pesky giant, Jack cuts down the beanstalk. Then we have the resolution or denouement, which is just the solution um, that develops after the climax and the falling action. Um, you may have a satisfactory resolution or it might be more ambiguous. Um, but in Jack and the Beanstalk, of course, uh, Jack becomes the hero to his mother because she is excited that he has found a way to sustain the family. They live happily ever after. That is the resolution or denouement of pretty much all fairy tales. So consider all of those elements as you are reading works of literature and as you are writing a narrative essay or any type of story of your own.